He jumped from 19 miles up. It was right here in New Mexico, not from Roswell, but from nearby. And then also set the record during that jump, again, 52 years ago, for the fastest free fall, because he descended at 614 miles an hour. And it was the longest lasting free fall before he pulled the parachute for four minutes and 38 seconds. So those were the records that Felix Baumgartner was going for today with Joe's approval. Baumgartner was going to try for an altitude of 120,000 to even 130,000, depending on where the balloon stopped. So some 23 or 24 miles up. Hope to get that out and then jump and hope to, that would be breaking one record, hope to break the next record in the fastest free fall by breaking the speed of sound. In other words, coming down at Mach, Kittinger's uh, 614 mile an hour drop, at the uh, height of it, was 0.9 Mach, so 9 tenths of the speed of sound. Baumgartner hoped to break the speed of sound, he'd be the first human being ever as a free faller outside of an airplane or an airport, as a free faller, the first human being ever to break the speed of sound in a free fall. And there was a lot of debate about what would happen. Now you see on the capsule. But some fierce debate in the scientific community about whether there'd be any effect at all on the human being falling or breaking the sound. technician in charge of the capsule. 
And he's the one who worked with Bob Gartner. I think you just heard him say the other day. He's the one who worked with Bob Gartner, Bob, uh, Bob Gartner to try to uh, solve that radio problem that was crucial in holding up the preparations for today's flight. So again, to go back and review, there was a brief window. The hope had been to launch at dawn. That's normally when the winds are the absolute calmest. Dawn in New Mexico, that's mountain time, so that would have been six hours ago. And at that point, the winds were too brisk to launch. So from about 3.30 local time this morning to 10.30 or so in the morning, there was a weather hold. But by 10.30, that's mountain time, so a couple of hours ago, uh, they began to realize that there would be this window that was worth waiting for, an opportunity where the winds would calm for a long enough period to get this launch off. It was back to us there. Ed Coca, he's the launch, the supervisor for the balloon on the ring. So there was this brief window, and they began at that point to go through their preparations as, as soon as, as they felt it was safe to go, and got Baumgartner into his suit, started him pre-breathing the oxygen because of exercise where he breathes 100% oxygen to purge his body of nitrogen. That's to help prevent the bends when the pressure changes rapidly or later in his ascent into a higher altitude. So he was pre-breathing his oxygen. They were making those preps and they actually brought him out to the capsule, put him in the capsule. And now the winds had actually calmed to the point where they could have gotten off, but they needed the balloon. And because it had been uncertain previously about whether the winds would calm to the point where they could launch, the balloon is expensive, the helium that goes into the balloon is expensive. Once you get the balloon out of its package, uh, you've lost it, can't be used for another day. As we mentioned, there is a backup balloon, so that can't be used. But this one is spent, can't be used. So all those decisions have caused them to hold up the leg, unpacking of the balloon, laying out. And the inflation of the balloon. So now, when there was finally the opportunity to begin the inflation, the problems began to occur in the capsule. And there were some other problems, but primarily that was a radio problem. He has two radio communications. So those are the only voice communications. So they have a primary radio communication and a backup. And one of the two, either one could be the primary, either one could be the backup, but one of those two was gone, went dead. Don't know exactly why, but perhaps because of an overheat problem, or maybe uh, the overheat problem was a consequence of something else. So there was a lot of discussion about that. Is it safe to go with one? And when they worked the problem through, only then were they, this was all delaying the point at which the capsule was sealed. And until the capsule was sealed up, the door closed, they were unwilling to start the inflation process. So the inflation process hadn't even begun. Now it takes about 40 minutes to get that balloon fully inflated. And the clock was ticking down. I think you saw a little of it at the beginning of this broadcast with Don Day, the weatherman. Uh, at one point he had his hands up to his head. You could see he was really frustrated. He saw the time running out. So there, what's left of this effort this morning, gathering themselves on the ramp, trailers still out there with bunk up. Mission control now empty. There 
again, midday in New Mexico, the spent balloon coming down, all of this now, disappointing day, awaiting another day, which may or may not be tomorrow, to try again with a backup balloon. Typical day for Baumgartner too, the ordeal of being awakened at two in the morning, making his way out here, getting into the uncomfortable suit, spending all that time on the way. And now it's all coming to a close for this day's activity. Disappointment too, not only for Baumgartner, for Joe Kittner, but all the people who were taking part in this effort, some 300 of them. So to re recap, the Red Bull Stratos team had a mission of work today to, to gusty winds, basically. The team has overcome a lot of challenges to get to this point. And they say they won't be done. They'll continue the mission to launch another day when the weather is more favorable. So tomorrow is a possibility we don't know yet. The good news is that in October in New Mexico, typically holds a lot of good days for balloon launch. There were good days in the summer. I had some practice jump in, but we're unable to get it on. More information, stay tuned for live broadcast from www.redbullstratos.com for updates.